So as you can see here, I've located a file that I, I wish to copy design. So I've got this dishwasher base, it's got a, a bunch of components, and it's also used in a drawing. So what I'd like to do is create a copy of this. So I'm going to right click on this, and for my right click option here, I'm going to pick copy design. And what this does is actually launches the copy design window, which is technically a standalone application. So this is actually something that you can launch from your start, uh, all programs. Let me just resize this a little bit so we can see things a little bit better. So right now you can see the drawing and the file that's been loaded in. And what I'm going to do is just to kind of simplify it a little bit, I'm going to um, turn off drawing views so there's no drawings located in there. And right now I am, I'm not going to select references. So the idea is, you know, are we going to uh, do references or all instances? So now it's going to automatically copy parents, as we can see. So if I take a, a subcomponent, I copy it, it's going to automatically want to copy the um, parent file as well. So here's one. What I'd like to do is I'd like to copy this. So I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to use the option to copy it. But maybe what I'd like to do is I'd like to take everything inside of here and also copy it. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to pick copy branch and you can see how everything was automatically set to copy. But maybe there's a couple of components in here that I don't want to copy. So I'm just gonna right click on these ones and I'm actually gonna use these as reuse. So the, these components here, I'm actually going to reuse. This one here, I'm gonna right click on and I'm actually going to, um, I guess I can't exclude this one, but if I had something else that I, I wanted to reuse, I could come in here and actually replace, sorry, replace something, I could replace it with something else. Also notice a nice little option here to expand, so I can actually expand all, and notice that everything within there has been um, expanded as well. So some nice little right-click options there to change that. So I've, I've kind of set what I want to do within here, but maybe there's some other things I'd like to work on. So I'm gonna use the Add Objects option, and notice I can come in here and browse. What I'd like to do is I'd like to take this component right here, um, so you can see that, that I can browse throughout my structure here, but I'm going to take this component as well, I'm going to click open, and we can see that that's now been loaded in as well. So I'm going to do a right click on here because I want to copy it, because maybe what I'm going to do is with an inventor is I'm going to create a new version of it, um, but I'm going to add some components to it. So I've, I've built that copy in there. So let's come into here, and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to exclude this bolt here, and I'm, going to, I'm not going to include that when I do my copies. So you can see how you can go in there and through your right clicks you can make changes to that. So we can also come in here and we can add PDFs, we can add Word docs, we can add electrical projects, AutoCAD electrical projects, which is, which is a great new feature as well. Okay, so again, I kind of went through here and I, I disabled my drawing views. I picked whether I'm selecting references or, or all instances. Um, and I can also load in the various numbering schemes I want to work with. Next, what I come in here is I add objects, so the ones that I want to, to copy. So I initially loaded in this dishwasher base, but I can also add in additional data sets even though they're not related to, to include. Here what I can do is, you know, I don't want to include attachments, so I won't include library files. So just an option there, kind of with the children. And then here, you know, some quick copies. You know, let's copy everything, or let's just copy the top nodes, and it'll go through and copy all those top nodes for me. This one here, Rule sets, just a way to apply different actions to happen automatically when, when you're working on it. Now at this point, what I can do is I can come over here to the side here and I can actually get like a where used. So I can see right now that this component and I can kind of see through the tree where this is being used. So this is the top level, it's not really showing me anything. If I kind of dig down here and pick this component, I can see the entire tree kind of quickly. Like this is, this is what I'm actually impacting. This is what I'm actually copying. If I come over to this one, this is where I can see all the files are being copied. So instead of having to kind of navigate throughout the, the tree here over here, I can just see here's just the components and you know what, I didn't really want to copy that one so let's actually take that one out. So I can quickly come in here and reference the components that I'm copying and again you can see that I can come in here and say well you know what this component here is actually a reuse and it takes it out of there. So again, here's all the components I'm reusing. Here's all the components I'm replacing. Here's the one component I'm excluding, you know, I'm removing um, or maybe editing. So you can see how this is kind of a filter to quite quickly look at your data and what you're, what you're working with. Okay, now here is kind of just a different way of, of looking at your data. So this is kind of from an assembly level, you know, the hierarchy, whereas this kind of shows me from a folder structure. So this is showing me everything that's in this folder 
and I can see everything that's, you know, this is being copied and I can see here's the components being reused. So it gives me a different view of the data, kind of where is it currently situated within Vault, whereas this doesn't really give you that. This, this doesn't give you the impression that it's actually even in different folders. So it's just a different way of looking at the data. And if I right click on it here, notice I can change between copy and reuse in this case. All right, so I've loaded in my data. I've set my actions. The last step is the numbering panel. So one thing you'll notice is that even though this is a copy and I right click on it, notice that there is no option to set the file name. What I do is I come into here and I set which numbering schemes I want to work on. So here you can see that this is a copy. I can come in here now and say, okay, let's just expand this a little bit. I can see which ones are being, uh, have the purchase numbering scheme applied and which ones don't. So I'm gonna right click on this one and I'm actually say, you know what? This one should actually should be a purchased and what it's done now is it's moved it to the purchased numbering scheme whereas I now apply the purchased. Whereas none, what I can do is I can come in here and just kind of old school, just come in here and change the name so I can do find and replace this within here. I can set values. Um, I can change the schemes like I, I, I did before and I can go to in here. So it's a numbering scheme where you actually go in there and change that. So that is copy design 2.01.